I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Hey there guys, welcome to a brand new edition and special edition of PLS Tips with Manny. Got my little co-star here, Ava. So uh, today, uh, as we do every week, we're going to be giving you guys some new tips on strategy, marketing, online, offline. And uh, today, the topic is going to be about becoming a student and then becoming a teacher. Uh, that's one thing that I see a lot of marketers do online, or at least marketers that are starting out online, is they try to become the teacher without first becoming the student. And that's one thing that is really um, hindering a lot of success from what I see from a lot of people is that they're going out and using strategies that don't work. They use strategies that are outdated uh, or just stuff that just doesn't make any sense. And they're thinking they're going to generate business with it. They're going to generate success with it. And that's just not the case. You got to be efficient in your marketing. You got to be uh, providing value. You got to do something that's unique versus what everybody else is doing. If you do what everybody else is doing, then you're going to look like everybody else. Nothing special. And they're just going to mix in with the crowd. So I want to first introduce you guys to little Ava. She's uh, almost four months old now. Say hi. Let's get her all close. <laughs> she's like right up in there. You see, there's a camera, mama. <laughs> she's just like so straight faced. Let's see if she can be good throughout the whole video. So uh, the video shouldn't be too long. Um, it's really just a very small topic. It's really making sure that you become a student. Okay, by becoming a student, meaning you have to learn about your industry, whatever industry you're in. If you're in uh, the power lead system, you're doing out full time. You want to make sure that you understand online marketing and lead generation and sales funnels and, and things like that because it's you got to have knowledge of the industry if you're going to gain value. People are going to look to you as a resource. So always become a student first before becoming a teacher and that same thing with me I didn't come out teaching people how to be successful in marketing online or branding themselves or anything like that you know my success came after years of going through seminars and workshops and events and uh, listening to webinars and going on uh, conference calls and just seeing what other people are doing and seeing if, if it's successful or not Are you starting to get a little fussy mama? Be a good girl. So one of the things that I done uh, that I've done is I joined a lot of um, webinars online from people that are already being successful. Find the ones in your industry that are at the top of the list. Okay, they're at the the best of the best. These people are teaching others. That's what they do now. Everybody does the same thing. They go out and they become successful in what they do, and now they make money by showing others how to do it. So that's one thing that you probably want to look into is finding people that are the top of your industry and following their training, following their webinars, or just follow them in general because then you could just follow by what they do um, and learn that, okay, well, this is what they're doing and they're getting these kind of results. Makes sense. Oh, you want to talk, Mama? What are you going to say? By the way, you can probably hear my wife laughing in the background every five seconds. Say something, Mama. What are you going to tell them? Tell them about branding. So what are you going to do? Too much stuff for you to look at, huh? You're like, all these little gadgets. I just want to touch one. So where was I at before I got rudely interrupted by this little mini-me here? Um, where was I saying? I'm lost. Anyways, so yeah. So you got to follow. Yeah, there you go. Follow, follow your leaders. So follow the people that are doing the best at what they do and just mimic them you know you mimic them and then make it your own again you don't mimic them to duplicate them and copy them you mimic them to see what works for them and see what you can grab onto that make it your own and now you've got your own little flavor your own little value you know every flavor out there every food is concocted from a mix of other flavors you know they don't come up with their own new flavor that never existed before they come up with a mix of some of the best things that they like they combine it into one thing and now they got something new, right? It's exactly how business works or marketing works in, in developing a teaching role of helping others. You have to first become a student, learn from the best, get a mentor, get somebody who's going to teach you how to do what you're trying to do in a very efficient way. And once you've become successful at it, okay, keyword, become successful at it, then you can teach others. If you're not successful, don't go out there and try to be the teacher 
uh, of things because it's just you're you're making yourself look bad because if you go there and you're like oh like I've seen so many times where I'll talk to a company and they'll say oh I do what you do oh, okay sure well let me see about the stuff that you do and how you're doing it then and I look at it and they don't even actually have the product or the service that they're saying that they do so it's like okay well how can you go and preach something that you don't even use yourself it makes no sense right so don't do that if you're gonna become a teacher become a teacher of something that you have mastered okay just like if you're going to become a teacher in school you have to get a degree you have to master what it is that you're learning or you're teaching others in order for you to go out and give it efficiently to somebody else where they can in turn use those tools you share with them and become successful okay you can't go and share stuff you have know nothing about all right so invest in yourself go out there and get into those books and ebooks and seminars and webinars find people that are successful at what they do that you can relate to okay somebody has a similar lifestyle of yours so it's not just oh this guy that uh, talks about all this I have no relation to him I have no connection to him at all why are you being feisty mama you always be nice you don't want to take you want to take all the attention huh mama you're like it's me me time I brought my little baby to uh, work today Huh? Tell me about a moment. Tell me. Tell me about your problems. Yeah? Oh, yeah. All day, Mama. Yeah? Okay. All right, I'm almost done, Mama, okay? Okay, good. All right, so I'll wrap this up pretty quick here so you guys uh, can get back to doing what you're doing. Uh, thanks for joining me here this week, as always. Um, I love to hear the great stories that you guys are sharing about how this training and these tools have really helped you guys in doing what you do. Uh, just give me more of it. Tell me more about what what my training does for you guys. Because it's not just um, me, me wanting to come out here and just give out you know tips and strategies and, and promote myself or anything like that. I really want to see how my strategies really work. Um, I use them in my businesses and. I've had great success in what I do. Um, as you can see from the stats right next to this screen, you know, I've done a good amount of stuff in the last couple of years. And so I just want to duplicate what I'm doing to others. So find what I do, tweak it a little bit for you so it's your own little flavor. And now you've got something unique to share. You've got something unique to do. Um, I see it all the time. People on my own Facebook and stuff like that are using the strategies that I teach and they're having success with it which is awesome so do uh, keep doing that keep going keep uh, finding something that is unique to you and uh, and giving it your all everybody has a story everybody has something to give of value and it's all about finding the right audience for it when you find the right audience and you can do anything there's seven billion people in this world I know you're not gonna please everybody I don't I piss a lot of people off every day but the fact is I still have 10 other people that are lining up to do business with me so it doesn't matter there's so many people in this world you don't have to please everybody all you got to do is find your niche and master it take charge make it a priority to become successful oh, I'm gonna share with this real quick I found this really cool thing all of a sudden I funny this little app that I have um, is all becoming all inspirational now so I'm like oh this is really cool so I'm seeing like they have this little thing called featured section where each um, uh, what do you call it? I gotta go to my lights I don't even know how I do that I know I have some in here somewhere um, smiles here it is I think da, da, da. where did it go Oh well, I'll find it. Either way, oh no, I downloaded it. That's what it was. I downloaded it. I didn't like it. Give me a couple seconds here, guys. I will find it. Downloads, downloads. Oh, iPhone has its own little section. Number. Where are you at? There you are. Okay. So it's a really cool little, uh, I'll show it to you. So it's a little, I don't know what you call this thing. I'm sure there's a name for it. But here's what it says. Okay, the first circle says if you love it. Okay, this this circle right here says you are great at it. Okay, this circle on this side says the world needs it, and then the bottom circle says you are paid for it. Okay, so if you have you love it and you're great at it, that's called your passion. Okay, if you're great at it and you get paid for it, that's called your profession. Okay, if the world needs it and you're paid for it, it's called a vocation, okay? But if you love it and the world needs it, 
It's called your mission. But if you put them all together, if you love it, the world needs it, you get paid for it, and you're great at it, that's called your purpose. All right? Purpose. Purpose. This is my purpose right here. This little beautiful little being. You so pretty, mama. She does your daddy, huh, mama? You love your daddy, mama? I have three little purposes that make sure that I do the best that I do in my business. And I'm great at it. I do what I can to help as many business professionals as I can uh, be successful. And um, the more people I help, the more it seems God's blessing me every day. So you guys have a great week. Uh, always remember, you are too blessed to be stressed. I will see you here next week. And this little baby wants to give her a little sound off. Go, Mama. Tell him. Tell him. Say bye. Say bye, Mama. Bye-bye. <laughs> you guys have a good week. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found.